Rufus en plus, voilà, moi ça me, ça me réjouit. Il y a Let's do it. De... So they're starting with Office Retro. We're going to talk about the three offices, but starting with the roadmap. The roadmap they've published about a few weeks ago. They've already presented it and everybody has spoken about it. It has got all the information, but without too many details. There will be some more announcements that will come on for the Office Retro. So for Dofus Retro, they have unveiled this roadmap earlier this year and the idea was to go back on the last live they've done in December and sort of renew ties with the community. They've had a lot of conversation with the community. Hello Sevi. And they have taken their feedback on board. So 24 is going to be a big year, especially with the server fusion. And they've given birth to two um, two servers. There will be something to do with bots. They talk regularly about retro because it is a big, big problem that they have with bots there. Oh, so banning in retro used to be done manually and now they've changed the logic about how they approach it. They're moving over to a systematic thing where software is working on it, but they have to invest on it and it's going to improve. It's a good thing for the server, it will improve its health and the overall happiness of the player base. And this is one of the big problems they want to tackle in 2024. They they are done with it. They can't take it anymore. The players can't take it anymore and they have to do something about it. And they're putting actions behind the words now. <laughs> yeah, so they're not they're not going to hide away from it anymore. They're going to face it head on and they're going to do something about it. And this is also the year that they will do more regular events on Dofus Threat Row. Whether be it the Dungeon Rushers, or I'm not sure what that is, the Weekend Chromatic. They've looked at the stats of the overall players and they realize that many players are able to access this dungeon now, face Soft Oak and get the rewards. The other kind of event, every time they've done it in the past, they've just recycled the same uh, cosmetics, but now they're going to introduce novelty. And this is why they have started speaking very closely with the community and get their feedback. Ah, uh, but they have something a bit more important. They could talk about bots and cosmetics, but they have something a bit more important to discuss. <laughs> They've prepared a lot. Everybody knows inside the team, but we don't know. And it's Temporis Retro number three. So Rushu is a divinity, is a god in the world of 12, but they've remodeled him to their taste. Here, they've done the opposite. Instead of the world of 12 invading his realm, Rushu, it's going to be the opposite. Rushu is invading the world of 12. So Temporis Retro will be around Rushu and it will be a beautiful event, something that people are looking forward to. And they know when it's going to be. It will be before summer. They're not going to give us any exact date, but it will be before summer of this year. <laughs> it's a 2024 Temporis. And <laughs> wow, it'll be. <coughs> they are in the development phase, so they've got the mechanics, they're putting all of that in place, and they will go back to us so that we can. Um... Oh, Logan is making his appearance. They'll come back to us soon about uh, how to subscribe. Oh. <laughs> He's coming to tease them about a test for the black spotted that they messed up the other, the previous, uh, <laughs> in the pre previous event, they've completely not put it in the code and people were trying to drop it and nobody did drop it, so now he's coming to tease them about it. Thank you, Tizun. So they're profiting from this new retro to do more rigorous tests and add more stuff officially so that they become a permanent staple. They want to add new dungeons and new dofuses. 
So if I understand correctly, you're going to test it during the temporis? Yes, we will test it during the temporis. Is it going to be a formula that will uh, please a lot of people or is it something that we will see? We'll have to talk through it with uh, one of the dev and the people. One of the game designers called Diola. Yeah, it's someone that is heavily involved with Osatopia development and all these sort of events. So Grobe Dungeon, I don't know what that is in English. Grobe Dungeon Grobe. So you've talked to us about the theme, Rushu. Is there going to be any sort of mechanic, something? Just give, give us a little nugget or something. <laughs> Clearly, the word invasion is important here. There will be a mechanic, but I'll let, I'll let your imagination roam free. It is something that is really important. It is crucial to the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> so the theme of invasion is really important and I'm curious to see how you guys are going to think about it before we release it. I'm not going to tell you anymore otherwise the team is going to come and hit me. <laughs> I don't want to give you any spoils that weren't uh, expected to be uh, told today. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again just because uh, people don't miss this kind of stuff sometimes. So, for Retro, we have a new Temporis before this summer based on Rushu with this invasion mechanic. We will also potentially have a Grobe dungeon that will be added just to test the feature and see do we have any other novelties, do we have any exciting things you can tell us about it? No, there's nothing I can tell you anymore about 2024. But there is also a small logo from the beginning of the presentation. I think it's it are talking about the 20 year to celebrate the 20 years anniversary. They're going to talk about this gladiatrual mechanic that was very popular when they added it back in the day. So they will make an update to look at the gladiatrual dungeon and mechanic because it's something that has been very popular, people liked it, but we've never got the chance to really touch it up and look over it. The discovery aspect was no longer there and now because of that we will use it as an opportunity to go over it and look over classes, the passives. We have so many ideas that we want to work with. There will be some reworks, there will be some touches, there will be some surprises around the mechanics. Oh, there will be a new amount that will appear. There's no lack of ideas and it will be a beautiful event to celebrate the 20 year Dofus. We don't know, Sev. So globally we wanted to use the Crossmonaut to tell you about the lives. There will be more of them. <laughs> we will give you a rendezvous for on the 14th of March for an Ankama Live where we will talk about just this topic. It will be an opportunity to go back and talk about some of the announcements that we've done, talk about the game overall with the team, and possibly talk about the anti-bot and give you some more tangible details. So, the team is going to look at me all weird because I'm giving you too many details, but I'm not going to say anymore. It will be an opportunity to talk about the game, and we want to have these sittings a lot more often. And the next one is on the 14th of March, where we'll talk about retro. So, put it down on your agendas, mark your diaries. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help here. There are a lot of things to talk about still, and there will be the other two Dofuses that we need to talk about, so let's move on to something else. <laughs> we will talk about, we will move on to the next logical one, which is Dofus, the one we are all here for. Let's go! <laughs> Ribiek, so are we going to talk about Dofus now for 2024? What can we expect this year? Right, exactly, just like we said about Retro, we wanted to go back about the roadmap that we've shared earlier this year. There were some topics that we've announced, just like the redoing of some classes. So Feka and Fogernaut that will be ready for the Marsh uh, the March update. And we had announced, we've also revealed some more subject, but without giving you too many details. And this is the occasion to go back on them and give you a bit more details on these topics. 
So the Exposition Season 2, the Epic Server, 20 years about the office, we'll go back about that. And also the roadmap that we have uh, talked about, the first topics, like new Unity for example, more PVM uh, content, the ad system, and I will present the projects that will be coming on the first half of the year. So the first projects that will come earlier this year are, the first one is the Ombre, um, uh, uh, what is it called, this, done, this server where you die. There will be an event that will be held in this server. So during Temporis we try to run little tests, some things that is accessible for everyone, where for the period of two months you have the ability to sort of touch pretty much all of the game's content. And now we wanted to propose a new event at the other end, a lot more tryhard, something more rush, more difficult. What is it about? Just to remind everyone, Ombre server is a shadow server, is a server where death is unforgiven. If you die, you're gone, you're dead, <laughs> you gotta start from scratch. So with that in mind, for this event we will have, it will be a four week event, there will be some days after the update, so players will start from scratch, they will all start from the beginning, at the same level, and they will have to guild up, so get together in guilds to gain guild points, a new functionality that we will add. So points we will be won during uh, using various methods inside the guild to gain points. So you'll have to do two things to gain points. D either you will have to do some uh, achievements called Pioneer Achievements. It's a test feature, we don't know what it is exactly, but I'll tell you something about it. So the first people to do the achievements get points. You have to be top 5 to gain points. So the first people to actually delock the... Are these achievements, are they already existing or are they new achievements dedicated for this event? So, in the event tab, in the achievement tab, we will have a big beautiful list that will be specially created for this event. And only those will give you guild points. And only the five first ones will gain points in a decreasing manner. So the number one will gain more and it goes down. So we will propose many uh, ways you can get it. Professions, um, dofuses for the more try hard people, dungeons. And the more adventurous you are, the more you will accumulate points and the higher you will push your guild in the ranking. I just want to ask you another question because we didn't specify something that might be confusing. When we say epic or shadow, we talk about definitive death, but in the past we had different types of top of uh, servers with various definitions of death. When you die, you leave the loot and the mobs or you just completely lose it. So here, we will take the basics of Shadow Server, the same, the same rules that we have now. If you die against a mob, you lose everything. There is no drop, there is no loot, no nothing. You, and there will be the same um, bonuses on XP and uh, mobs. So there will be only death in PVM, nothing in PvP. Yeah, same thing, same thing. And the event will be purely a PVM event, there will be nothing to do with PvP, it will be based around the achievements, it's a teamwork, you get together in guild, you all start from scratch, group together, and you'll have to craft your items, grow with your item, with your teammates, so some, some people will have to specialize in this, so you can progress in this area, it will be a team effort, a big big team effort. Do we have a date for this? Yes, we do. It will be a few days after the March update, so it will be towards the end of March. Just some more details on the event, because I didn't have time to tell you about the second way you can win points. <laughs> the second, the Dungeon Rusher. Every weekend, from Friday to Sunday, players will be able to go run and hit as many dungeons. And it always in the weekends. So these will be people that weren't in the achievement trying to get points for the guilds, but these people will also be able to contribute to their guild points. And there will be some more additions. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna tell you everything today. There'll be more, more things to tell about. Yes, we're all excited because it's 20 years and it's exciting. So this event, we're getting used about the Temporis event, the mechanics, how to balance the points, the Tempotons. Whereas this one is completely different. This is absolutely new. We tried to balance things as much as we could, but there's so many players that are outstanding, high level. 
There are people that are like machines, so we're trying to anticipate a maximum uh, how to figure out what they're able to do in four weeks without having tried this in the back previously. So this opportunity we will use to test some things. Um, when it comes to Unity and the game, we will run some tests on this temporary server and event to see what is possible, what is interesting, what the people and players vibe with, and then maybe roll them out in the official server allow them. We have a new event channel for everyone that will be following the events, they can activate it and everyone that participates, if they die, everybody will be told about it. And if you delock a new achievement, everybody will know about it. If you do Royal Gobble, there will be a message. Jean-Michel or Single Malt has defeated, <laughs> has defeated the Royal Gobble. You mispronounced Single Malt. <laughs> Forgive my distortion. There'll be some more details. There will be little uh, light globes that will drop. I'm not going to tell you everything, but you'll be able to drop some new things that we have introduced. There will be a mystery guest that has worked with us on this event. It's just like retro, there will be a slide where we'll tell you about the exact details about the upcoming lives. But there will be a live specifically on this topic and we will tell you the exact date. Now we can move on. I've noted Expedition. There will be some... Right, so Expeditions, it's a feature that is an incredibly visual um, event. It, it is spoiling the event because you get to see, but it's the original Expedition. We're going back to the original uh, dungeons that we had back. So, what is what is this event? It's, as you all know, you get some points to advance in a timeline. And as you progress, you unlock some new... Um, cosmetics and what you get are called origins so you have to go back and fight the historical original dungeons there will be 20 dungeons that will be modified and uh, upped so that you can face them at level 200 it will be hard I mean just think about soft oak level 200 so we will add new mechanics new little new little surprises there that will have new mechanics on top of the normal mechanics that you guys are used to on the previous one now the previous events we had idols there's no more idols so we will have to think of a new functioning a new feature we will tell you more details but you will be able to unlock it as you go. So every Monday and Friday we will unlock new dungeons. Um, so this will be around May and June. So it will last for two months, so four weeks, and every Monday and Friday we will unlock new dungeons. So, before then, do we have any events? Do we have anything expected before then? It is possible, it is possible. This takes us to summer 2024. So, and it's the beginning of the festivities, the 20 year celebration. And we will start it around then. It was an event that we'd started for the 15th event. And the previous one was held by Tot and Cam. So these are the original inventors of the game. And it was done at their locals, at the actual offices. So, this event will happen during the early summer and the beginning of September, between those periods. And it will be a celebration. The best area we've thought about is uh, to celebrate it is the Trull Fair. So this one will be completely done, this area, and it will be a bit sad at the moment at Dolphins 2.0. We have neglected it for far, far too long. And now we will revamp it, we will festify it, we will enjoy it, make it a bit more uh, exciting. There will be more mini games, there will be more new NPCs, new shops. Potentially, we're thinking about possibly PVM content in the Trull Fair. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah there will be no shortage of ideas, but we'll have to stop at some point because we don't want to do too much. And we will get inspiration from what we've done in the Ekaflip city in Temporis. And we'll try and bring back this uh, festive uh, atmosphere that we've had all these with all these mini-games. Thank you very much, Rebek. Oh, we haven't done. We're not done yet. We still have some more. <laughs> Because this is in-game, but we also have, for the 20-year celebration, we will have tournaments, rendezvous for players. There will be PvP, PvM tournaments that will be organized by KTA. And I wanted to go back on that. And about that, we have a little video that we're going to watch. <laughs> Thank you, Cloverville.
18th of February to the 23rd of March. A LAN event. Let's go. <laughs> 10,000 euro cash prize. Holy shit. A champion set to win. Statues in game for the winners. There will be physical statues created in game for the winners. In partnership with Ankama. And for the next part, for the KTA part, I am joined by Shax, who is the organizer for the KTA events. And he will talk to us about what's going to happen in terms of tournaments on Dofus in 2024. Yes, we've had a little preview with the trailer for the World Cup, which is imminent. It's happening very soon. It has been on the works since yesterday, started yesterday. So the pre-matches are in next Sunday, so it's starting very soon, yeah. If you've got a team, get ready. There's a lot of PvP teams that are training really hard, getting ready for it. There is not a preview uh, information, they've had it, so people are getting ready. So it will be a draft tournament on the KTA servers. It will be competitive, highly competitive for the office. That means everybody will have all the classes level 200, with all the gear. Uh, <laughs> is it possible to have a tournament server at my house? No, no. <laughs> there will be some challenges to have on there. And it will be open to everyone without conditions. So if you want to participate, yep, you can join us. I've heard about you having an eye up that was promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good memory. Well remembered. If you want, it will be open to everyone without any conditions. So you can join as well. Yeah. People who fall against me will be very happy, it will be a free win. <laughs> so this World Cup in 2024, it will be a special 20 year one, it will be a different one compared to the previous ones. We will introduce some special little things added. What are the particularities that you are adding? You can see here in the, in the visuals in front of you, there will be a LAN final on the 23rd of March on the arena level 256 in Paris. So it will be a physical tournament with a full arena where people will go and sit and watch it. It's a very cool thing, yeah. So there's plenty of time before this happens, a little less than a month. So the rewards as well, it's something that we had teased before, it will, that we've announced them now. There will be statues in games, the skin and the look will be permanently poof in Dofus. You leave your mark on the game forever. It will be possible for the winners. There will be a cash prize of 10,000 euros. It's not nothing. It's always a nice little addition. But it is a good sum to win. And there will be a champion set to win. Which has a lot of history. Everyone in the office knows about it. Do not confuse it with the French... <laughs> that's, a, that's a silly French joke. I don't need to translate that. <laughs> silly French jokes. <laughs> We're also talking about retransmission and Ankama Live because it will be a big tournament. It will be, we will be able to follow it and it will be completely retransmitted on the Ankama Live on this very channel that we're watching now. So if you follow to get notifications and all so you can watch it live. It will be hosted on the Ankama Live. And of course, you'll get notifications on the Twitter and other socials. Another uh, precision, if you want to, Oh, if you want, so on the chat, if you want to participate, there is a, if you put KTA um, exclamation mark, you will get all the details on the chat. So if you want your statue in the game, you've got to win. <laughs> you have no excuse. It's open for everyone. So everyone gets to participate. So, effectively, so this is for the World Cup part. Are there any tournaments in 2004 that we should be looking for? Yes, evidently, there are some more. There is the classic KTA, but look at this, we've got two more. To start, we've got two tournaments for the special year 20 celebration. We'll have two. So the first one is a PVM edition this summer in July. And another one in October, but for the PvP people. This is, this is a special edition for the celebration of the 20 years. Do we already know anything? Are you gonna give us any teasers or or is it still in the oven? It's cooking. Now it's still in the oven, it's cooking. We don't have any more details uh, as far as details, dates, stuff like that. We will have more details for you later on but we, all what we can tell you now is um, 
July, October, you've got two events, PVM, PVP. There has never, ever been a PVM tournament. It's the first one. We've never had anything like this before. But PVP, we've had loads in the past. So this summer, we have a novelty, PVM. So, to summarize, 2024, what do we have? PVM, PVP tournament for the 20 year, and the KTA, so three big events. So I hope that everybody will enjoy this, and thank you very much, Shax, for this presentation. Maybe a one last word to add? Yep, yep, yep. So, t now, today, I've given you the big lines, and we will do an Ankama Alive where we will get into more details. So, if you follow that channel, you get the notification, you'll be able to get into more details. So, on the 12th of February, there will be an Ankama Alive dedicated specially about the function and how drafts work, how to join the server, how to subscribe, how... And we will have Crocus as well, and we will do a practice draft so you guys can see. And I hope you guys will appreciate all of this. We will do an experiment for you live and, yeah, demonstration. So don't hesitate to be there and be there on the Encama Live. So, I'm imagining a live with all the information. I imagine it will also be on Twitter and stuff like that. It will be publicized. Anyway, if you want to find them, if you know you want to find them, you know how to find them, you will find them. There will be an article on Monday posted on Dofus. This is so well done. You've covered all bases. We're working hard here, people. And while talking about hard work, let's talk about Dofus Unity. Ah, here we are now, the big part, the thing that everybody was expecting, the unity. Oh, let me, let me stop you before we start. I invite everyone that is in the game. Please, invite everyone to join the lab. There is a roadmap with more details and we want everyone to know about it. So just in the recruitment channel, in your guild, just tell everyone to come. <laughs> yes, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> Just post all messages, get people over, invite the maximum number of people to come and watch because there will be big information towards the end of the unit announcement. Do we have a date? We will give you the entire roadmap! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! So you've got to stay towards the end because we have 20 minutes. Papino. Let's talk about the portent of Unity. Big, big topic here in Ankama. A big topic for the Ankama fans. What can we expect? What can we expect for the Unity porting? Before beginning, we've prepared two videos for you. We've been working on them for two days. One for the Zelor and one for the animated map. Because, well, I'm sorry, uh, we had a lot of demand that was made for Frygos, but we have prepared that and not just that. Let's have a look. Let's look all together. Is the volume okay for you guys? Should I increase a bit or... <laughs> this is a teaser. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> Thanks, Farab. Welcome all to the chat. I didn't have time to say hi to everyone in the Cologne HP because I have to look and hear and translate at the same time. Oh, we're seeing how it looks like. This is... Ooh, exciting. Wow. Look at the level of animation, holy wow, yeah. Everybody better upgrade their GPUs and CPUs. <laughs> it looks the same, Neo, it's just windier. <laughs> We're all excited, Brian, we are all excited for it. And towards the end, we will have an exact date and a roadmap, so we will have more, fi more information. Thank you very much, Nala, I appreciate the, the kind words. Oh, the music. Are you guys picking up on the changes in music depending on the area? Is it loud enough? Can you hear the details, the subtle details? Like the clocks, you can hear them move and the lag and glitch as well, you can pick up on it. Wow, look at the maps. They've brought the PvP stuff into the actual uh, PvM maps now. <laughs> you can hear the lag. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, Pandala is soft and nice. You can hear the water. I think it was Golden Spirit who said something about enjoying the music in this area. I, I get it now. A better immersion, yeah. Maybe it's time to stop playing with sound on. For those of us who don't. <laughs> wow, these images give us... They they want us. They they give us. We this is the Dofus that we know that has evolved for twenty years, and we are on the future now. Where this is the future of Dofus. On top of that, it is a pleasure to go back on these uh, areas that we farmed for so much. Thank you very much for asking for free ghost and insist insisting on it because it's so well designed and beautiful. But we have only shown one of the two. Should we look at the other one as, as well? I think we can watch the other one as well. Let's go back to it then. We've only seen Free Ghost. So I don't know what the other one is. Oh. Spell animations. Woohoo! Fire! <laughs> wow. They picked the Zellor as well. So Gluto will be really happy about this. <laughs> it is Wakfu vibe as well, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's promising. Ah, it gives you the desire to go and play it. We have been working really hard with the entire team for the animations to make the game more alive. The VFX that were completely redone for classes. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of work, but it's so beautiful once you have the results at hand. It's beautiful. It's uh, Dofus that is having a new skin, a new look. It is extremely pleasing. We like it. I see you guys in the chat. The players are happy and excited. What can we expect and wait for Dofus Unity for 2024? Papino, can you tell us? We've seen the images that give us the desire to go and start playing the game and start it up. But before we talk about the roadmap, I wanted to, with the entire team, to go back on one crucial point that was linked to some of uh, the points that we've touched on the live, on the previous lives. We were talking about what, what to expect, what's waiting for us on Unity, but there were two points that we wanted to clarify. There were two points. The first one is the feature. We wanted many characters in one client. Uh, people wanted it, we understand it. I wanted to tell you that we've started the research and development on this uh, point right here. It's, um, we're trying to estimate the feasibility, how feasible it is. It is a big, big thing. But I know that in December, I've told you that it would not be happening. But because it was so much demanded, we have decided to push this because the community wanted it. And we're trying sincerely to see how well we could, how much we could possibly make it happen with Unity. And there's, there'll be uh, many more things uh, happening with Unity. And it's something that we wanted to talk about during the upcoming months to see whether it's feasible or not. And the other feature, it's the, the future extension that will be coming with the Unity uh, rollout. It's not something that will happen immediately. It will, ha it will accompany the release of Unity over the long term. It might not happen immediately, but it might be a future extension. Every we all have the Fry Ghost in mind, the big unrolling of Fry Ghost. So we all have our eyes turned towards that clearly. Thank you very much. And we have our eyes turned towards you, Papino. <laughs> we have our eyes and ears towards you. Can we do a recap on the roadmap that we've announced? When, when is it coming out? When can we test it? Tell us, tell us, tell us, Papino. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think the December month has been acted. It was... Um, it was uh, told to us by Tot. That's his desire. So we all know that the classes uh, bring in. There will be two uh, servers: one mo mono account and one multi-server account. We are all looking forward to see the new Dofus uh, servers that will be brought and how it will behave in the new servers. Of course, it is the same thing. 
Oof, sorry, I'm slowing down a bit. It's like Dolphus Touch. Uh, that will affect the progression of players. I'm thinking about Dofus Church and how the idols and things that have affected the players and their progression. We have put it there because it's a question that always came back towards the question about the flash. Yes, this will be something that will happen towards the end of flash in the beginning. And it will approximate, it will come with new PVM. Uh, just like me, you've noticed that there were two empty slots. Will December the real dates that we want to... Is it the real date that we should keep in mind? But when will people put their hands on the new Unity? When will people be able to try it? What date? We will be able to try it by August. That's when the beta will open. And everybody, everybody will be able to play. Everyone. No conditions. No... Uh, we will port players and characters towards the beta server, so people have the habit, they know uh, they know that you need characters to be able to access it, but there will be a beta that will be open starting from August, and everybody will be able to try long test phases, and I'm insisting on the long part, <laughs> because there will be immense amounts of bugs, there will be lots of difficulties, and we need to do follow-up on it, so we've released it earlier, so people can get on it and start trying it over a long period of time, so we can spot the problems as we go, and be ready. So, let me sanitize, let me sum up what the chat is saying right now. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you didn't understand anything. So the December date is really important, because it is the complete unveiling of Unity. That's when we move and completely forget about Flash. But we have kept in mind that August as a month, as a month, that we, but is August the first moment that you will guys be able to interact with it? Is it the first month or is there a previous day? And as you can see, there is another empty slot. So August is the beta opening but for july there will be a japan expo that we haven't talked about and it will be the first time we will offer an experience on the clinic uh, on the client unity in our stance so the pieces that you will bring in the japan expo will have unity yes that's exactly what's happening we will bring unity with us to <laughs> and we will be careful to make sure nobody steals them or touches them <laughs> yeah between me and logan nobody will be able to touch them <laughs> but yes from the japan expo you will be able to discover the unity japan and content that will be specially created for that event but so, that means from July will be the earliest that the community will be able to experience this new client and the new opportunities that this offers. Wow, immense, intense roadmap. Beautiful year. We've heard this for a lot and very long. We're here. We've heard it for long, but we're here. We can see the end of the tunnel. We can see the light. We can finally put our hands on the game, myself included. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I've noted that there will be a live for Unity, specialized for, yes, yeah, so we talk about the porting of Unity, the making it happen. So we've expected, just like every time, to have an Akama live where we give you the first rendezvous where we talk about these things in more depth. And it will be the 7th March, mark your calendars, it will be one week before the retro one. So we give you a rendezvous on that day, so we can go back and talk again about Unity more different, su more subjects, but you will have thousands of questions to ask us. So take, make note of all your questions, we know you'll have a lot, so take note of them and come back ready for us for the conversation. But yeah, the next Unity Rendezvous will be talking to you about this topic, will be the 7th of March. So thank you, thank you very much, I'm really excited, thank you very much for the information. And to stop this cross mono now, bring it to a halt. We will be joined by Logan just to discuss things and tell us his, uh, to share some time with us. Uh, by the time he comes, Popino talked about the live date. There will also be dates about Dofus 2. There will be other lives that we need to tell you about. To give you some dates, it will be the end of February where will be a shadow event on the 27th, where we'll tell you about all the rules, the functioning, and all the questions that you might have about the events will be answered on that day. The next event will be the 5th of March, which will be live about the 271 update, which we haven't talked a lot about, but there will be some novelties. The Kra 
and steamer. Kra and steamer will have new modifications and balancings. A lot of updates that will bring a lot of things like the Almanac. So we'll tell you about the last date as well, which is the expeditions on the 24th of April, where we'll talk, of course, about the expeditions and all the questions that you may have on the topic. So this is grand. Thank you very much for this. We will have lots of moments of communications where we will abort the separate themes that we will discuss separately that we've mentioned today. We will talk about them separately. So in any case, we will have someone who has followed and we finally have someone we haven't heard much from, which is rare. <laughs> he talks a lot. <laughs> we finally have Logan. <laughs> His mic, we can't hear you. Put the mic up. Let's go. Logan, I imagine that you've heard the cross monote, all of it. How are you feeling about this to begin with? This is towards the end, so, but we still have one more thing. But how are you feeling, Logan? We're very happy. In reality, we're following the chat. We're looking at the reactions. We're keeping an eye about all the different projects that we have. It's really cool. I'm really happy about watching a big part of the Dofus emission. I don't know if that's a movie or... We haven't talked about 272, but I will hold back on talking about that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not everything that we have before summer. I'm trying to hold a lot of fire back to not give you everything. But we'll have more round views. We will have a lot more lives. I'm not, I'm not meant to be. Can you come? Do you want to join? I've invited the... We are early on the time. So what do we do for the last seven minutes that we have? Like, what should we do? So... It's not under control. Oh, it's humility. So this is the best time to talk about this. I can testify. Uh, gros GG, big GG's. Thank you very much, guys, for coming here to talk to us about the separate themes, the many, many themes, because they all were clear, concise, and allowed us to stay on frame and save time. Yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, humility here with <laughs> with his mic with went gps mic who went on an expedition <laughs> as we say here hold it with your hands but you can't hold it with your he broke his mic when he heard them talk about some of the things boom so they told me that um somebody's missing so here i am i'll hold it up with my hands we're very, very, very happy with the work of the teams between Wakfu, Touch, Waven, Crosmo. In reality, it's, it's a big, big year. There's a lot of things. The anniversary, 20 years. We're in the beginning of years and we're at the beginning of the year and we're already... Is the mic bugged? Is the mic bugged, Sevi? There's a lot of cool things and we're thanking the teams. So I'm take, using the opportunity to everyone thank you. People who have participated. Communications, marketing, all the baldies right here with us. <laughs> all the people here that are making us uh, enjoy the content that you've brought us today. Humility, thank you very much for coming. Uh, are, you, are you sad about losing the crossfighter? That they've done something earlier. <laughs> against you, losing against you. I have to admit, it's really hard. I'm really happy to come here and discover the projects. And most of the things that I know now, I've discovered it alongside you guys. And it's uh, really, really cool to find 20, year, that 20 years later. We've talked about this with Ankama a lot of times. Like a game like Tofus is so niche. An MMORPG. It's an MMORPG. And it's even further niche that it's a tactical game. And it's even more niche that it's 20... It's a, a French game. But and to last for 20 years, it's just baffling. It's incredible. Yeah, so you see that there are many, there's a lot of craze, there's a lot of nostalgia, you can see it in the chat, a lot of people have uh, an emotional attachment to the game. Yeah, but the TV is gonna blow up because of all the interactions and reactions in the chat, uh, the TV is gonna blow up. But yeah, there's a side, <laughs> there's a nostalgic, uh, there's a nostalgic side, uh, and the French side, and we're so proud of it. Especially of the can you Can you remember, can you imagine? But it's true, Logan. We have seen each other in many, many settings. We've talked le at length about the future of Dofus and compare it with other giants that were out at that time. But 20 years after that, we're still here. It's still progressing. It's still growing. It's still making novelties. We've got the Unity rollout coming. And this is what we like. This is what we really enjoy. This is what I enjoy. And I'm really happy to be here today. <laughs> to be here. 
the TV has blown up. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. It was short. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the experience was quite short. We are all terrain animators, so don't worry about it. We'll live. We have three minutes to last. So in reality, I, I don't know if you have um, told if you're planning to talk about this. There's another live immediately after this. I don't know if you were meant to tell them, but let me do this. And. Do you know that people, <laughs> uh, people in the chat are worrying about you, Zulu. Let him drink some water. <laughs> there will be a live for the international community. Yeah, we like you, Zulu, but we want another live to talk in English. So, yeah, yeah. So thank you for giving me the break.